Hey what's going on guys, Crazy here, welcome back to another Cyberpunk video and today let's take a look at all of the amazing vehicles you can get in this game for free. And by the way, by that I mean the summonable ones that become yours once you get them. So there's a handful at the very least of these that you can get from just completing some of the side content or randomly stumbling upon them and in this video we're gonna go over the ones that I found to be the most amazing. Again, this doesn't go over the ones that you can steal from civilians, those are completely different, yeah you can always go in and just get these at any point but they are not yours you cannot summon them and once you lose them they are lost forever but without further ado if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it and let's get right into it let's begin with the first card that you likely even missed in the early stages especially if you're like me and didn't pay attention too much to the side jobs in the first few hours of the game this is going to be the Hela EC slash D1360 that you can get from the early side job called Human human nature is basically given to you very early on in the game right after you reach your apartment for the very first time but the mission prompts you to go into your parking garage and retrieve it from over there unfortunately once you reach that point you will notice that a rogue della main car rams into you completely destroying it so from this point on you get a call from della main hq you need to head over there and the taxi company will provide a full repair and will give you the car back so at this point you will get the car back and you can go ahead and and use it permanently because it's always going to be in your summonable list but there's a cool thing about this that you might want to continue and that is the fact that if you continue with the side missions for the Delamain AI taxi company you can get a second car called the vile fort Delamain number 21 it's a bit faster than the previous one it also looks pretty decent and again it gets its job done so as soon as you're done with the human nature side job it's going to open up another one called epistrophe for the AI taxi company where you basically have to go in and get back seven rogue Delamain taxis that kind of went haywire because of a virus so do that it's going to be different for each of the taxis but it's a pretty fun and rather short kind of mission that you can do but do keep in mind that once you finish this it's going to open up the last mission in the chain called don't lose your mind so um, basically without spoiling too much over here you kind of have to go back to Delamain's HQ after waiting for a little bit and help the AI because apparently the virus kind of got to it so you need to get rid of that virus now I'm not sure if the other options change anything but picking the option to destroy the core or picking the option to merge and um, will both reward you the same car at the end so I don't think the third option that exists in there is going to be that much different but again do a save file before this of course this is going to reward you with a vile fort Delamay number 21 so now you can boast to everybody that you have a low cost budget taxi car in your garage but there's plenty other vehicles that you get presented from doing even the main missions like for example you can get the Apollo Scorpion motorbike by simply continuing with the main mission like at some point you will have a main mission with Panem which um, of course works for Rogue in the afterlife club so um, you're going to get involved with her this is going to put you on a track to go into the badlands into the desert to search for a missing person I'm not going to spoil anything about this but basically what you need to know is that at the end of this mission you guarantee get the Apollo Scorpion which was the case for me because I kind of went up until this point without any vehicle and this was literally the first one I got after losing the previous one that Jackie gives you but speaking of Jackie let's talk about his really awesome arch motorbike that you can also easily miss if you don't pay attention to your messages and phone calls this is why I made yesterday's video so I am not going to spoil anything in here because it's pretty major but I will just tell you this uh, make sure that after a certain event in one of the missions that you do with Jackie in a hotel really early on in the main story um, you stay in touch with Mama Wells I'm just gonna say this um, depending of course of your choices at the end of that hotel mission you either get a short side job for Mama Wells where you have to go in and do um, a few things over there for her and eventually she is going to give you the keys to Jackie's bike otherwise if you picked a different option Option that doesn't involve Jackie's family at the end of that hotel mission instead of doing this side job for Mama Wells it's going to be completely skipped and you will get the bike keys right in front of your apartment in this box right here so you're going to get it much faster and much easier but this gives you of course Jackie's motorbike which looks absolutely amazing I'm pretty sure that this can also be given to you as a modified version if you have a technical ability high skill in one of the early missions
happens in the main story right before you get to meet with the Militech person. So uh, basically if you comment on the fact that the motorbike looks cool, if you use that dialogue option, I think that you're going to get the modified version of this which should be much better. But speaking of higher performance, let's jump into the supercar territory staring with this 1600 horsepower beast right here called the Rayfield Caliburn and probably my favorite right now in my entire list. It's full on black, looks amazing, feels amazing, but even more important, it sounds absolutely amazing. So to get this, it's rather easy. All you have to do is to head over into a hidden cave in the eastern part of Night City, right outside of the city itself. So it's going to be located right here on this side of the map. If you head inside of it, you're going to go up until the end, up until you notice that there's a small pop-up on your screen with a car in front of you. If if you head over there you will see that there's an open container with a car sitting right there and you can quickly claim it and make it yours and congratulations you just got the Rayfield Caliburn supercar that looks just spectacular. Now what I will say about this is that this might or might not require you completing a mission prior to this. For example in my case I did a mission in the same cave with Pan Am, uh, it was called Ghost Town, I'm pretty sure it was a side job for her. Um, so basically during one of the quest chains for her in Ghost town you get a choice to either help her out taking down a gang hideout and its gang leader or not help her of course if you choose to help her you get into the same cave you get to clear it out and i think that i missed this car the first time i was inside of it so yeah basically go ahead do ghost town help pan am all the way and this is also going to help you out romance her later down the line if you want to have that option but speaking of helping people out let's talk about another side job that can give you the option between two really awesome vehicles. One of them is a Quadra supercar and the other one is going to be a massive 4x4 called the Beast. So basically this is from the mission called the Beast Inside Me. You get this from the bartender called Claire that um, you find of course in Afterlife. Um, you do need to get in touch with her by the way so eventually I think that the first time you speak to this person um, she is going to eventually call you and will open up the Beast Inside Me side mission. Um, basically this is gonna be all about racing. You're gonna do races with your vehicles or with her vehicle and basically at the end of it you are kind of presented with a couple of options. Now I will not spoil anything but I will give you some hints. If you go with Claire's plan from the very beginning and especially so in the final mission you are going to eventually end up getting her car as she is going to actively give it to you, give you the keys and from that point on you get the beast. This was also the option that I picked by the way which is why I'm showcasing it right now. On the other hand, if you choose to not do that and let's just say spare the life of a certain somebody, you are going to instead get a Quadra. Now unfortunately I don't have a save file anymore to showcase you how I want the Quadra but uh, yeah basically you can get either the Beast or the Quadra so the choice is yours. If you help Claire you get the Beast, if you don't help her and spare that person you get the Quadra instead. Of course I chose the Beast simply because there are many Quadras that you can purchase so eventually I'm probably gonna get one anyway. But the Beast on the other hand you can't get it as easily. This brings us to our final vehicle on today's list and that has to be the beautiful Johnny's Silverhand own Porsche 911. Of course the most iconic car in the game. I'm pretty sure that there's also a real life version of this with the samurai going on and whatnot. But this is going to be quite late into the main story, much later than you actually think. So if you continue the main story as you connect a bit more with Johnny, um, you're going to eventually unlock a side mission called chipping in. Don't worry, you're not going to be able to miss this. It opens up no matter what you do, at the very least from my knowledge. But if you go ahead and complete that side job, you're going to get a number of really amazing items. Again, the choices during these missions will count, so here is what you need to know. First of all, at the very start of the mission, you will get Johnny Silverhand's attire, including of course the samurai jacket, a crafting recipe for it, his sunglasses and some other stuff in there too, which are unmissable. So you, you cannot miss these. You get the mission, you start it, you get these for absolutely free. Now as you continue through the same mission, you're going to eventually encounter this character called Grayson, you're going to take him down after a short fight and you're going to want to pick the first option right here when you're presented with it called take the gun, not yours, I don't think. This is going to give you Johnny Silverhand's pistol that he also uses in one of the flashbacks. So it's just as OP as it was in his flashback to the point that I 
I'm still using it like dozens of hours later and you can also craft an even more advanced version of it if you want to. But for the Porsche you're going to have to pick another dialogue option for Grayson that spares his life. So basically at some point you will see that you have the option to either well end his life or put your gun away. Definitely go ahead and put your gun away because he is going to give you the keys towards a container with something really important inside of it. And yeah, once you're done with the mission, you can go ahead and open up the container and inside of it is going to be one of the most beautiful cars of all time, the Porsche 911 custom made with the samurai skin. And this pretty much concludes our list of the 7 amazing vehicles that you can get in the game, or well 8 if you consider the ones on the 6th place, um, you can kind of switch between these. And also I think that there's a ninth one um, that you get from the Brawler's Challenge, assuming that you defeat the final boss and pick a proper option for that where you get the car. Uh, I didn't get to do this yet, which is why I didn't cover it yet in the video, but um, just know that if you finish the Brawler Challenge, the Beat the Brat, you're going to eventually get this one too. But yeah, this is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Now let me know down below how many of these vehicles have you found, and even more so, have you spent any of your eddies on the vehicles that you can purchase in the game. As always, let me know down below. In the meantime, also don't forget to subscribe and activate that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.